So, you've been wanting to leave your 60Hz panel behind and get into all that the PC Master Race has to offer, but you're also not willing to drop $250 on a 1080p panel. Well, this new offering from Pixio comes in at just $170. It's 1080p, 144Hz, and has FreeSync Premium built in. But is it any good? Welcome back to Craft Computing, everyone. As always, I'm Jeff. The Pixio PX248P is one of the cheapest 1080p 144Hz panels on the market. In fact, it's only undercut by two different models. First up, there's the Viotech GFV24C, but the specs on that one are less than impressive. Coming in at just $160, the Viotech features a TN panel and a 4 millisecond response time. There's also a Curvy Boy from Scepter at $160, but that comes with a VA panel and a 3 millisecond response time. Then there's the Pixio. On top of being a 144Hz panel, the Pixio PX248P is also an IPS display, featuring a 1 millisecond response time and FreeSync Premium baked in. So, not only is this a low latency display, it also features an input range from 48 to 144 frames per second with FreeSync enabled, keeping your screen tear-free no matter what your graphics card is capable of. A quick tour of the monitor, and we find inputs for DisplayPort 1.2 and HDMI 2.0, both of which are capable of 144Hz. There's also an HDMI 1.4, which is only capable of 120Hz at max, so keep that in mind when you're hooking everything up. There's also a 3.5mm audio out for your headphones, USB port for firmware updates, and a 12 volt barrel jack for power. Unfortunately, there is no onboard power supply on this monitor, but the power adapter is very compact, being just a 12 volt 3 amp unit. The display itself is one of the lightest that I've ever used, and for a gaming monitor, it is surprisingly minimalistic in its design. The legs are near wire thin, but very sturdy. There is no height adjustment, but it does have a decent amount of tilt adjustment. I would like to see this screen sit just a little bit taller off the desk, but being 6 foot 5, I say that about a lot of things. Even with the monitor stand being so tiny, it is still very well balanced on the desk, and doesn't seem to try to topple over if your desk is on slightly less than stable footing. The screen on the PX248P is matte and almost completely reflection free. Unless you're shining a flashlight directly at it, glare is not going to be an issue here. The panel is also mostly bezel-less, save for the half inch lower lip with the Pixio logo and the tiny status LED at the bottom. One feature I'm very happy to see more and more of in monitors these days is the four-way joystick control, rather than a collection of up, down, enter, and mode buttons. A single input beneath the Pixio logo is all you need to manage every setting on this monitor. But enough about the specs, let's talk about how the monitor is to actually use. Being an IPS panel, the viewing angles are exceptional, especially top to bottom. Side to side, you do lose quite a bit of brightness around 30 degrees or so. But tilting the monitor up and down, you'd be hard pressed to find any difference throughout its entire range of motion. Considering its $169 price point, the PX248P is fairly bright, coming in at 400 nits, and is consistent throughout its entire display. Out of the box, the colors are a bit cool for my liking, with a bit of a blue cast, especially over white images. But the color profiles in the menu are nicely balanced. The warm color profile does seem to clear up a lot of the blue cast issues that I was experiencing. There are some gaming assists you can access inside the menu as well, like adding a crosshair to the center of your display. But likely the most interesting one is the built-in frame counter. Forget configuring MSI Afterburner or any other software. If you just want to know the FPS of the game you're running right now, this will tell you in the upper right hand corner and won't interfere with anything built into your system. Inside the menus are all of your standard monitor adjustments as well. Brightness, contrast. Contrast was a little bit bleak out of the box, but upping it to 90 in the menu really made the details pop without losing too many of the highlights. The sharpness of this monitor is probably the one thing that feels a little bit budget and subpar to me. Now the sharpness is adjustable in the menus, but at 50 out of the box, the text still feels a little bit fuzzy and undefined. Setting it to 75 and higher does make the edges a little bit better, but it also over sharpens parts of the image with a very harsh white line. For gaming, the image still looks fantastic. However, for day-to-day -day use, like browsing a web page, the image is either horribly blurry or a little bit oversharpened, and it's just overall not pleasing to look at. Speaking of gaming, the PX248P is an excellent experience, especially with FreeSync enabled, and at this point in time, there's really no reason not to enable it. I tested out quite a few different games, both slow and fast paced, to run this panel through its paces. Not once during my gameplay did I experience any screen tearing or stuttering, including when I was pixel peeping with my camera at 150 frames per second. And at an asking price of $169, that's pretty high praise. 
Pixio was often recognized as being the budget-friendly monitor company. And to be fair, that's pretty on the nose, consistently bringing gaming-focused monitors to the market at less than the going rates. But the Pixio PX24AP, I believe, is one of the best values from Pixio to date. Most of the best-selling monitors on Amazon sit squarely in the 22 to 24-inch 1080p range and cost anywhere from $95 to $120. For that price, you can definitely get a 1080p monitor and get up and running with your new gaming rig. But you'll also be stuck between 60 and 75 frames per second with no adaptive sync to keep your frame rate smooth. Stepping up just $50 to the Pixio PX248P might be one of the best upgrades you can make to a budget or mid-range PC build. If you are in the market for a new 1080p monitor, or you simply haven't made the jump to a high frame rate panel yet, there really isn't going to be a better deal out there. 144Hz IPS panel, FreeSync Premium, all for $169 in a very attractive package. If you are interested in picking up the Pixio PX248P, I will have Amazon affiliate links down in the video description below. And on your way down there, make sure to drop this video a like and subscribe to Craft Computing if you haven't done so already. Follow me on Twitter at Craft Computing to keep up with my daily shenanigans. And if you'd like the content you see on this channel and want to help support me in what I do, consider joining the Patreon or Float Plane. Link is down in the video description. Thank you all so much for watching this one, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys. From Fort George Brewing in Astoria, Oregon, this is the Kavatica Stout coming in at 8.8%. Nice thick head on this one, but still not as many bubbles as Jason's Garage Floor. If you are a uh, give me my coffee black and my whiskey straight kind of person, this is right up your alley. Oh, that's good. And there's such a good roasty flavor to the stout. It really is like having a coffee. Oh, that's so good. We're about two thirds of the way through this one. Um, this is a very drying beer. Uh, I can feel the moisture being pulled out of my mouth in this one. This is a beer you don't wanna have just by itself, like I'm having it right now. Uh, this is a beer you wanna meal with, like a good piece of fish or a burger or a steak or something like that. Um, the flavor in this is fantastic, but it would pair very, very nicely with a very hearty meal. I really like this one because it is sweet and bitter all at the same time. Uh, the flavors just play off each other so well. Uh, if you like stouts, this is a must get. I'm having a hard time thinking of a better example of a non-imperial stout. It has all the flavors you're looking for. It has all the, the right notes. It's affordable, and it's just good. Go get one.